When you see a particular plant or tree in a mythological or religious painting, chances are that it carries a symbolic message. Like the presence of a cypress, which was often related to mourning, or a laurel tree or wreath which actually can have quite some different meanings depending on the circumstances. The last two videos discuss the symbolic meanings of flowers and based on your feedback this time the focus is on plants, a fairly wide concept including flowering plants, bushes, scrubs and trees. In this video the focus is not on flowering plants but on the plants and trees without their flowers including the cypress, ivy, laurel and juniper. Plants either have a symbolic meaning related to the theme of the painting or something specific related to the person depicted. For example, the only painting by Leonardo da Vinci in the Americas, entitled Ginevra de Benci, shows the sitter in front of a juniper bush, recognizable by its spiky, needle-like leaves. The juniper symbolizes chastity, as juniper berries are protected by the thorny leaves of the tree. But the juniper is also a reference to Ginevra's first name, as the Italian word for juniper is Ginepro. The same plant is visible behind this person in this later portrait by Lorenzo Di Credi, and the leading theory is that this woman is also called Ginevra. And this lady in a painting from 1440 by Pisanello has a sprig of juniper on her dress. Some people have argued that the sitter may be called Ginevra as well, but this is very likely somebody else, a princess who just got married. And then the juniper refers to strength and eternity, as juniper wood is supposedly never attacked by worms or bugs, and it grows in places where many other trees don't survive. The presence of laurel in art is pretty interesting, as it can be interpreted in various ways depending on the context. The origin of the laurel tree goes back to Greek mythology where the god Apollo fell in love with a beautiful nymph named Daphne, but when she fled from him and Apollo finally was about to catch her, Daphne's father turned her into a laurel tree, an event depicted in this painting from the 1470s by Piero da Pollaiolo. And you can already see Apollo with a branch of laurel in this fresco from Pompeii created some 2000 years ago. And even while she was a tree, he still loved her and he made the laurel tree into an evergreen and promised that laurel would be used to adorn the heads of royalty and of victors. And that is the reason that Julius Caesar is often shown with a wreath of laurel and why winners of Olympic or ancient games sometimes receive a wreath of laurel. Notice, like in this 19th century painting from Lefebvre, entitled Allegory of Victory, that in some cases the laurel wreath becomes gold to symbolize perhaps an even more special type of victor. And besides victors and royalties, there are also paintings where saints are crowned and the laurel wreath also has a specific association with poets who receive praise. But there is more symbolism associated with laurel. In this somewhat bizarre painting by Lorenzo Lotto from the 1520s, the laurel wreath held by Cupid and Venus is a symbol for love and eroticism, just like the rose and its petals on Venus's lap. But in addition, the laurel also had a strong connection with marriage. And in a religious context, the laurel has yet another meaning. This painting by Girolamo dai Libri from around 1520 is a Madonna and child with saints, and there are two trees in the background. The tree on the right is a dead one, without any leaves, and the tree with leaves is a laurel tree. This laurel tree is a symbol of immortality and the resurrection of Jesus, and this symbol is pretty clear as it is shown next to the bare tree representing death. Another interpretation of laurel in combination with the Virgin Mary is that it represents chastity. Just like juniper and laurel trees, the cypress is an evergreen, meaning that it stays green throughout the year. 
The cypress tree is also known as the mournful tree, and in ancient Greece and Rome they were already associated with the entrance to the underworld. That association has persisted over time. It's a conifer that in some countries is strongly associated with sadness, mourning, but also on the flip side with immortality and hope, as it is among the longest living trees around the world, regularly living for more than 600 years. In southern European countries, including France and Italy, this tree is often seen around cemeteries. And this is also something Vincent van Gogh realized. The cypress is slim and tall, which was associated with reaching heaven above. They were sometimes called the churchyard cypress because they are often interpreted like guardians around the graveyard. This is one of the early paintings by Caravaggio, entitled Young, Sick, Bacchus. He wears a crown of ivy leaves on his head, a symbol that is strongly associated with Bacchus and his Greek equivalent Dionysus. Ivy was a sacred plant for Bacchus, as it was thought to possess the power of preventing intoxication. And it was also associated with sexual desire, something that Bacchus constantly pursued. However, it can have a totally different symbolic meaning if not associated with Bacchus directly. For example, growing up a tree in the background of Lotto's Venus and Cupid, we can see an ivy, a plant that slowly grows up walls and trees, making it a symbol of growth and endurance. And in this specific context, it is a symbol of marital fidelity, as the ivy can survive in dark places without much light. Well, I hope you enjoyed this discussion of the symbolic meaning of plants and trees. All the ones discussed today were evergreens, meaning that they keep their leaves throughout the year, no matter where they grow. Of course, there are other varieties of plants that we have not looked at yet. Think about the beech tree, the yew tree or the clover, which will hopefully be part of a future video. Finally, I would appreciate it if you can support the channel through your comments, likes and subscriptions. And I hope to welcome you in another video soon. Thanks for watching.